It's a dead end. It's not a dead end. We just have to get out and walk. Where, Tess? I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. I think it's through here. Thanks for the help, by the way. <sighs> Look, I know you're upset. We both are. Let's just get in, see what we can find about Pierre, and get out. Before I change my mind. Agreed. I just touch that. Yikes. Somebody has anger issues. Couldn't just set down the knife gently, could ya? here. Looks like we're on the right track. How are we supposed to get on board? Maybe there's something around here we can use. stupid. We're trespassing. We need to go back home. But we... What if you fall off and break your neck, Tess? Or who knows what's even in that boat? Or if the floorboards are all rotted, or... or... But we're already here, and the trailer home... Mobile home. The mobile home was fine. I, I just think, if we go back now, what's the point? Don't you want to know what happened to Grandma? To find Pierre? Mmm. Okay, fine. You stay here, and I'll see what I can find. No, you can't go in without me. Don't tell me what I can't do, Tess. No matter how grown up you think you might be, I'm still your mother. I... You're right. I'm sorry. I just... We've done all of this so far together. I just don't want to give that up. <sighs> all right. We'll do it together. But I should go first. No, I should go. No way! What if you fall off? I could say the same to you. I should go first. I'm not gonna let my poor, aged mother walk across a rickety bridge before I'm sure it's safe. Let's flip a coin. Call it heads or tails. Heads. I won! Just be careful and stay away from the edge. It's locked. This must be where the money is. <laughs> I seriously doubt that, but regardless, we'll have to... Can I just kick it in? I'd say you're free to try, but I don't want you hurting yourself. 
How sturdy can it be? <gasps> All right, pretty sturdy. Wow, cool. Tess, don't touch that! Why not? It's just as grimy as anything else in this boat. Plus, I want to find out what the winter campus fashions were in 1968. Ugh, you don't know where that's been. It's literally been right here for 30 years. I mean before that. Like... <sighs> Never mind. And I think it was fringe jackets. The winter campus fashions in 1968? And patterned tights. But really? Put that down. A letter from Grandma! Can you imagine if my mother had actually moved us up here to stay? I'd be Canadian. You wouldn't even exist. Whoa. What? Well, who knows if I would have had a daughter if my whole life had changed back then. I certainly wouldn't have met your father. Wow. So this is like looking into an alternate reality. I'd like to live in another reality. Like what? One where you and dad were still together? <sighs> I mean, I just wish you two were able to work things out. Well, it's not possible. There's no way to that reality from here. Wow. This is from when Grandma was really young. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen this one. You look a lot like her. <laughs> really? I always thought I looked more like my father. Um, maybe you were just imagining things? What? Oh, you mean because he might not have been my father? Hmm. Huh. I suppose I can see the resemblance now that I think about it. You have her smile. Nobody to spy on, though. Boy, really getting into the sea captain persona, aren't we? Did the boat ever even leave this dock?
Oh, it's for four players. Sorry, Pierre. Boy, he really burned through it. I can't imagine just spending $40,000 on nothing. Well, some of it was on this boat. Yeah, seems like he really loved it. Can you imagine Grandma living here? Can you imagine August living here? Maybe then she would have been a famous painter, because she would have, like, had to paint a bunch of stuff to make it less ugly. For sure. <laughs> and you and Grandma would have had to fish every day. This is a very tempting scene you're painting. I'm imagining something like Little House on the Prairie, but on a boat. Little Houseboat on the River? Rolls off the tongue. Attention every- Oh, man, what? This doesn't work. Should have seen that coming. Wow, that is a lot to spend on whiskey. $45? A lot for back then, I mean. Whiskey was more expensive then, too. Plus, judging from the state of this place, this was probably a reoccurring order. Jeez, slow it down, Pierre. I don't think he was handling my mother's change of heart too well. With this amount of booze, it doesn't look like he was handling anything too well. Listen, let's just get back to it. It's cold in this busted old boat.
burglary ring. Mom, Grandma's boyfriend here was a bank robber. <sighs> Why else would he have this? Maybe my mother sent it to him. For what? To keep him abreast of current events. Oh, come on, Mom. Grandma had a thing going with a bank robber. How cool is that? Well, okay, they didn't rob any banks. It was the jewelry counters at department stores and things like that. Department store robber doesn't quite have the same ring to it. And it wasn't robbery. It was burglary. What's the difference? A robbery is when you take something from someone under duress. A burglary, you take it when they're unaware. I think. You think? Listen, it's been a while since I've brushed up on my criminology. And why are they so sure it was men? What? It says the men broke into the store, but there were no witnesses. So how do they know it was men? You're thinking lady robbers. Like Catwoman. <laughs> I like it. Very cinematic. Do you think Grandma could have helped? Are you seriously asking if I think my mother was an accomplice in all this? Why not? She had two kids at home, and I just don't see it. Seems like there was a lot about Grandma you weren't seeing. Excuse me? Am I wrong? <sighs> Maybe not. You tell him, Grandma. Yeah, not one to mince words. All those years of writing advice columns paid off, I guess. Kind of nice that she was thinking about you guys, too. Not just uprooting your life, dumping you in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. I can't imagine what it would have been like to grow up here. <laughs> You'd have to learn French. <gasps> Sacre bleu. <sighs> oh no, it's already happening. Dodge this.
<sighs> so I guess that's it. Grandma had enough time on her own. Without Grandpa, without Pierre, she realized she liked things better that way. Can you blame her? No, not at all. It was her chance to have her own independence. And who would want to give up their whole life, everything they know, just for some guy? And some money? <sighs> People have done worse for less. Yeah, but... Grandma had a pretty good life. Didn't she? Her advice column, her art, her kids, her house. Maybe she just needed a little time to herself to realize how good she had it. This could come in handy. Looks like a mailbox key. Oh, didn't we see some mailboxes up by the gate where we came in? Damn, 40 grand. We've definitely found our man. This must have been from when he drove up here. Imagine spending $6 on a steak lunch. Or $7 for a tank of gas. Did people just drink more back then? <sighs> yeah, I think so. But this is a lot, even for 1968. dollars for a houseboat are you saying that's a lot or a little these are like 1968 dollars right i mean three thousand dollars then is probably like ten thousand dollars yeah probably around that maybe even more so what else could you have bought for that much back then a car a nice car probably maybe yeah, so this crappy boat for the same amount you could buy, like, a sports car with? Seems like a lot. But you can live on a houseboat. You could live in a sports car, if you don't have a very high standard of living. Yeah, much higher standard of living on this rotting houseboat.
Looks like Pierre tried to mail this, but he messed up the postage or something. Let's crack this bad boy open. Wait, opening other people's mail? I don't know, Tess. Oh, come on, Mom, live a little. We've already come so far. We can't just stop now, when we're so close to the truth. I suppose you have a point. Let's see what we've got here. So Pierre... was... my dad? He wrote this whole confession, but it never made it. It's been here ever since. I can't believe it. Well, it says right there... I... No, I mean rhetorically, Tess. Jeez. Right, right. Uh, I'm... <laughs> so my mother wasn't having an affair at all. Or whatever this would have been. Not except with Grandpa's secret identity. <laughs> so my father ha hadn't died when we thought he'd had a heart attack. He was just here, on this dock. We never got to know him. He, he was just a car ride away. August and I suffered over something that never even happened. It kind of did happen though, didn't it? As far as you knew, it did. You lived with that your whole life, so... So... to you, it did. <sighs> I can't believe I... I can't believe he just... abandoned us. All this time, he was... here. Uh, he gave up his family, his children. For an old boat and some booze. I wish I could have talked to him. Just one more time, and my mother, living... A lie. For the rest of her life, I can't... I can't even imagine. <sighs> I just wish I could have talked to her about it. While she was alive, I just... Wish you could have been there for her? Yeah. If we could have just... She didn't have to carry all this alone. I can't believe she would do that to us, lie to us her whole life. Why didn't she say anything, even when we were all grown up? Maybe... maybe she was trying to protect you. Yeah, maybe. August was so little. But I was old enough to know the truth. I just wish we would have talked. So, that's it? He spent all his money, tried to send this confession, and disappeared, and he never came back? Do you think he could still be alive? I don't know. Honestly, I... I honestly don't care. It doesn't really matter, does it? Either way, he's gone. You don't want to keep going? Maybe we could find... No, I think we've found enough. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mom. He pretended to die. <laughs> but he really just left me, like everyone else. I didn't leave you. Well, maybe not yet. But your dad... <laughs> I thought you said you were the one who kicked Dad out. I mean... Well, it wasn't quite like that. I guess... Listen. I'll give you the full story in the car. I'm freezing out here. Yeah, me too. <sighs> Tess, thanks for doing this. For coming with me. Of course. And for pushing me. To find out what happened. Just doing my job. I know I haven't been the best mom lately. But... But I am so lucky... To have such an incredible... Kind... Oh, mom. <laughs> beautiful... Hard-working... Stop, stop! You make me cry! <laughs> Just... Such... An amazing daughter. I love you, Mom. I love you too, honey. <laughs>